Today I'm going to be doing a deep clean of my rental property. I'm going to clean all the shared spaces today. This is long overdue because I need to do the dishes, the bathroom, and mop the floors especially. I deep clean this property every single Sunday. I like to keep a schedule so I can make sure everything is on track to being clean. First thing I like to do is throw my bath and kitchen rug in the washer and dryer. A lot of people forget to wash their shower liners, so I try to wash mine every other week along with my bathroom and kitchen rug. My goal every single Sunday is to try to finish cleaning the entire house before the laundry is done. Usually I get it accomplished and I'm really good at that, plus I like making that a goal because it will keep you accountable while you're cleaning the house so you're not stopping and doing anything else. You're just concentrated on completing the task of cleaning your entire house, so this is a really good way to get some cleaning motivation. I love my Swiffer mop for a touch-up. It's not a super deep clean. For my deep cleans, I like to use the O Cedar mop, but the Swiffer does everything it needs to do. It helps me pick up all my cat's furs, and it makes my floor look really, really clean. I also like to do an O Cedar mop at least once or twice a month. I don't use my O Cedar mop too much because I use slippers in the house and my slippers aren't dirty. So um, as long as you're like not wearing shoes in the house, you don't have to mop as often. But if you are wearing shoes in the house, I would definitely mop way more often.
don't know about you guys, but dust gives me really bad allergies, so I try to make sure that I dust every single week. I dust my um, countertops and my TV, everything that is a decor item in my house, I try to dust because I don't want my tenants to get allergies and I also get really bad allergies myself. Another really good cleaning tip is to try to make sure that you're wiping down all your counters at least 10 minutes before bed. If you just take 10 to 20 minutes before you go to sleep and just grab some Lysol wipes or any wipes you have and just wipe down all your counters, you'll be so glad you did that in the morning. Taking 10 to 20 minutes to just straighten up before you go to bed will make your place look so much more organized and tidy throughout the week and you won't have to deep clean every single week. You will only have to like tidy up because you will automatically have a tidy house by just taking those minutes before bed to clean and straighten up. Cleaning the bathroom is definitely the biggest headache that I have in the house. I clean the bathroom way more often because me and all my tenants use this bathroom, so it has to be spotless clean. So I'm always mopping, sweeping, changing out the trash can because obviously everyone's using the bathroom all the time. The bathroom is the only place where I use gloves just because when you're dealing with a toilet, you want to use gloves and you want to use paper towels. You can use microfiber towels anywhere else in the house. You can use it for a designated area in the house. So, so for instance, you could use one microfiber towel for your kitchen, one towel for your living room, etc. But for a bathroom, you always want to use paper towels because you don't want to keep any bacteria on your microfiber towels from the toilet or the bathroom.
hate hand washing the dishes it's such a waste of water and i definitely don't like doing it but the only reason why i'm doing it is because my dishwasher in my kitchen is not working when i moved into this house the dishwasher is not a good quality so i need to invest in a new one i've been looking all over home depot to figure out what dishwasher that i want to buy for my kitchen so in my next vlog i will definitely show you guys what dishwasher that i pick because this is my first time shopping for a dishwasher i'm a first time homeowner so i need to figure this out and i feel like a dishwasher will just be so much better for my tenants and all around so i'm happy to get a new one Okay, you guys, that is it for this video. Now I'm just putting down my kitchen rug and my bathroom rug because I am done cleaning and I was a little bit over the time where it finished, but I was pretty close to finishing after my laundry finished. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, check out my uh, rental property productive vlog. If you enjoyed this video, I love you guys so much. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.